Good morning and welcome. This is a very old video from five years ago that I am recycling. Now it was done on a very cheap phone. So the sound is awful. So I've cut it out. And it doesn't like to uh, focus very well. So these are the two clubs I use for chipping, the pitching wedge and the sand wedge, and I will alter the ball position and I will alter the face depending on what I want. There's the pitching wedge. And there's the sand wedge. Yeah, I still got that shirt from five years ago. But as I say, when I open the face, it's to get a little bit more bounce. As you can see, the trailing edge lowers. And I don't open it wide. I'm not playing a flop shot. I'm just adding a little bit of height to the shot. And a little bit of bounce so that it doesn't stick in the grass. Just as you would in a bunker. When you open the face and you do not want it to stick it in. So, this is what I mean by open it's barely visible but i use the word open all the same now i can spend hours doing this in fact i did spend hours doing this this is why i consider myself to be pretty reasonable it's because i can go up to the golf club on a saturday morning and do this for two or three hours now I used some dark coloured tees as well as white tees. There is a perfect circle around this hole, but you just can't see some of the tees. And as you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble just kind of like um, closing the face a little bit. But this is what I do. This is how I chip. I take my time. And yeah, I, I will do this over and over. That 40 balls later isn't a joke and yes I do not think of a landing spot I don't pick a circle because I consider this to be a putt and a couple of yards of it is actually going to be through the air all I think of is how far back and through and what speed I've got to do to get this ball from A to B I don't think of landing it in position C or position D unless, of course, there is a shoulder of a bunker or you've got to go up the tier of a green. Then I might consider where do I want to land it. But most of the time it's I need to do this backwards and forwards a certain distance and it will go a certain way. A certain length rather. Now the sand wedge is not one that I'm good at from close up. So this is why I practice this. You know that time when you're short sided and you haven't got a lot of green to run out on. Then you need to, uh, you need to practice these, these little pop shots which don't run out very far. Again, you know, I used to put in the hours doing this. Once you've put in the hours, then chipping becomes autopilot. You don't have to work very hard at it because you've done it so many times. Now for the longer ones, you could use a 7-iron. But because I don't practice this, I'm not very good at it. What I actually do instead is to take a pitching wedge and close the face down a bit. 
and actually hook it so it's all the way back and I kind of like roll the wrist to kind of put that little bit of hook on the ball and to get it to run out it's when you need to practice this, this does not come naturally to you but I'm not that bad at it when I actually do practice all you're looking to do with chipping really is to get it inside that dustbin lid you know get it inside four feet and if you practice your four footers you've got your up and down now, this is another shot I like this is just an 8-iron and I'm using the rough to slow it down. Quite often I'll do this with the pitching wedge as well. I'll, I'll carry it a little further and use the rough to slow it down. You know, when you're short-sided and you've got a lot of grass to get over, the flop shot seems to be the natural uh, th choice. But it isn't really. We're much better off playing a ground ball. So let's go out and get on the course and do some chipping. This is a hard thing to quite understand. You don't hit the ball in a bunker, you hit the sand. And you hit the sand with the back of the club. Once you get the idea of what you're trying to achieve, then bunker shots become easier. And if Seve can play out of a bunker with a three iron, I'm gonna try it with a four. It's just a matter of working out the angles. And no, I've never done that in a competition, but you know, why not? Just for a laugh. Not quite got it inside the four feet, but it's pretty tidy. Well, chipping over a bunker is not easy and we quite often make mistakes. The first mistake is we get a little tense, we decelerate and there's the duff into the bunker. The next one is the panic where we simply hit it far too hard. We've all done it, we've, we've all duffed it in the bunker, we've all over hit and gone off the other side of the green because we're afraid of the bunker. The hard part is concentrating on what you want to do. 
how far you want to hit it and looking at the flag and ignoring everything else uh, it's not easy to do what I do is I let go of the club just to make sure I'm not gripping it too tight and then I can swing properly and hit it the correct length if a little bit offline Well, the grass here isn't particularly long, um, but I made sure that it's sat down on the soil. And I got to hack it out of this over a bunker. Now it is going to run. You've got to accept it's going to run when it's sat down horrible. But you've got to dig down, take that little divot as I did just there. Without the bunker, it all becomes a little bit easier. God, that was full of water as well. It really did rain the night before I made this video. And with the space, it is much easier to judge and get it close. Quality focusing by my cheap phone. Now, I don't know why this isn't GUR. It ought to be. But sometimes you just get a lie like this. So it's back foot. Get the ball first. Hit down. And again, except it's going to run. Not the best shot in the world, but it's on the green. I didn't take a big lump of mud and move the ball two inches. So you've got to accept that sometimes that your best chip isn't going to be your best chip. You know, that's better. And then the joy of a slope. So I see this as being in two parts. The first part is getting across the green. And the second part is gravity does the rest. Let's see if we can do a little better. So there we go, we get across the green and gravity brings it down. <laughs> 